The Villeplatte Police Department is investigating a deadly shooting that claimed the life of a 19-year-old woman. I'm Darcy Ortiz, your Evangel and Parish reporter, speaking with the loved ones of Trayana Williams. Hundreds of people are mourning the loss of Trayana Williams. What's that reason? How many people gotta die for y'all to get it? According to Villeplatte Police, there were two shootings on Saturday. One just before 1 o'clock at the Parkview Apartments and the other just after 9 o'clock on Saturday evening where Trayana and two others were shot inside a vehicle. Helen Nelson says her heart aches, citing Trayana meant more to her than she will ever know. I just found out when they did the autopsy that she was three months pregnant for him. Pregnant with Nelson's grandbaby. She tells KATC the gun violence has to stop. That young lady and my son was only trying to go get some food to eat. That's it. That's why they got in their best friend vehicle to go get some food to eat. They wasn't asking for no trouble. Now Nelson says she's praying justice will be served. I wish more people would, would, would think before they ask and do things. And these young people that did this, I pray to God that they, they get, get caught. I don't, I don't pray. I know my God ain't going to sleep on this. While the Ville Platte community is searching for answers, a father of one of the survivors inside the car with Triana is demanding the person or persons responsible come forward. I'm an angry father. The guys who did it, I pray to God, y'all turn yourself in. Triana's family members and friends are uniting together during during a difficult time, painting the sky with pink balloons and holding on to their fondest memories. Too nice to me. Her nephew Rahim, too young to understand the loss, is trying to make sense of what happened to his aunt. My sister said she died by, by hospital, and my mom said something. Uh, got she she was uh some blood coming out of her ear. Trayana's death is still under investigation, but if you have any information regarding these two shootings, you're encouraged to contact the Ville Platte Police Department. I'm Darcy Ortique reporting in Ville Platte, KATC TV3.